Jesus, the king of the whole world, the king of kings, was hated by religious leaders and betrayed by his friends. He was abandoned by his disciples. Jesus knew loneliness. And yet throughout his life, Jesus looked for lonely people. We talked about Zacchaeus last week. Pastor Joe did a fantastic job. Zacchaeus was a traitor and he was hated. Do you think Zacchaeus was lonely? And Jesus came to the very tree that Zacchaeus was in and he said, Zacchaeus, I must go to your house. Jesus was looking for Zacchaeus because he was lonely. Jesus looked for Bartimaeus, and he brought Bartimaeus to him. Bartimaeus was a beggar and blind and despised. Do you think Bartimaeus was lonely? Jesus was looking for him. Throughout his ministry, Jesus found the lame, the crippled, the blind. He found children, those who are less valued in our modern society and in that society, and Jesus welcomed them. Jesus welcomed those with special needs and those who were overlooked and those who were undervalued. He welcomed and looked for those who were lonely. Friends, I want you to know that we serve a God who will not abandon you. We serve a God who is not far from us, who is always with us. I want you to know if you are lonely, Jesus is looking for you. Jesus has his eyes open for you. He is coming to find you. And so if you're lonely and you're wondering, should I respond with desperation or isolation? Respond to the invitation of Jesus. He's looking for you. He's coming for you. And he wants to strengthen you. Jesus is looking for you when you are hurting and lonely. Jesus is looking for you when you are desperate and willing to compromise. Jesus is looking for you when you are telling yourself that you can't trust others but you can trust him. If you're feeling lonely, Jesus is looking for you. If you're feeling distracted, Jesus is looking for you. If you're feeling busy, scared, if you're a workaholic or alcoholic, Jesus is looking for you. All you have to do is turn your attention to him.